Hello everyone. This is Ashwin here. After a long time I'm just uh, started making videos. So in the upcoming days we are going to test the problems in uh, graph theory. So in this video we are going to solve the problem roads and libraries. Determine the minimum cost to provide library access to all citizens of Hackerland. There are n cities numbered from 1 to n. So these are like uh, the vertices. Currently there are no libraries and the cities are not connected. so each vertex are like individual and no libraries are built yet bidirectional roads may be built between any city pair listed in cities a citizen has access to a library if their city contains a library they can travel by road from their city to a city containing a library so you can like uh, form a set like a uh, structure here so if you have a link with this uh, uh 1 2 3 and 7 uh, means it's like form a, forming a set and you can travel anywhere in the city so you can build a library in any of these uh, cities so here for this three cities uh, we have to build at least uh, one library that's how we have to solve the problem so each subset of uh, graph or each connected graph will have uh, one library and all the citizens can uh, able to access it so similarly there will be multiple uh, subsets of cities connecting to each other Let's see an example to understand more clearly. The following figure is a sample map of Hackerland where the dotted lines denote possible roads. So these are the possible roads we can build. So here we have the cost of road that is 2, the cost of library here it is 3. So the cost of building any road is 2 uh, and the cost of building a library is 3. Build 5 roads at a cost of 5 uh, multiplies 2. So that is the cost total cost is 10 and two libraries for a cost of 6 so for the subset we'll be having like three roads and for this one uh, we'll be having two roads we don't need a road here for 1 2 3 because it's like a cycle we don't uh, need that so we will uh, avoid this uh, possible road and build the remaining uh, roads apart from that for each subset i already told you we have to build a library for that uh, we are having like two libraries so that will be 2 multiplies 3 is 6 uh, so that is the total cost there are q queries where each query consists of a map of hackerland and value of uh, cost of library and cost of road for each query find the minimum cost to make the libraries accessible to all the citizens so here we have to like find the minimum cost uh, that we can achieve uh, to get this state like all the citizens can able to access a library so that is the end state we need so that is the end state uh, we have to build so let's see some additional examples before that let's see the constraints so here the queries can go up to 10 and uh, the number of vertices or the number of cities can go up to 10 to the power of 5 and uh, these are the other metrics the cost of uh, road and uh, m is the number of roads possible so here uh, they are having like minimum of uh, any of these two so the maximum is around uh, 10 to the power of 5 so it's not an issue and these are the vertices so, uh, anyway we are going to visit like all the vertices based on the queries we will see uh, we won't be facing like any uh, constraints in this so this is the sample input we have so we have two queries so here uh, we have the number of cities 3 number of possible roads that is 3 and this is the cost of uh, library and this is the cost of uh, road So for this, we'll be having like three cities, right? So we can uh, build two roads and build uh, one library in any of the city. So for two roads, two multiplies one is uh, two. So the cost of the road is two, and uh, library cost is also two. So the total is four. So that is the result we are having. So they have explained that uh, process here. So the total is uh, four. and in the second scenario uh, it is optimal to build a library in each city because the cost is less so if you consider uh, the cost here the library cost is like 2 and for building the road is 5 uh, so that is too much so we can just directly uh, build library in all the cities so every citizens will be accessible so that is the minimum cost uh, we are going to achieve so the minimum cost for this is 12 So anyway, we we'll, we are going to uh, follow a generic solution. So it will uh, find the minimum possible cost uh, possible. So let's see that. Now this is the function we have to solve. 
first uh, we have to create a graph uh, that consists of uh, the possible connections so i'm going to create adjacency list for uh, graphs create adjacent adjacency list for graph connections so the connections will be in this uh, cities so we will see so graph equals i will create a multiple list so it's like a two dimensional uh, list so for i in range of n plus 1 because the list indices are starting from 1 that's why i i just uh, added 1 here if it's starting from 0 means we can just have it as n so now i will have this here now we will uh, iterate through the cities so these are the cities we are going to iterate so for x comma y in cities now graph of x dot up and y now graph of y dot up and x so why we are doing it for two times because this is a bi-directional graph so you can uh, go from x to y or from y to x so both are possible that's why adding i will just uh, comment it as a bi-directional graph bi-directional graph now we have created an adjacency list for uh, the graph connections now we will uh, initialize a few things so i will have total cost equals zero so this is the variable we are going to return or the minimum cost and after that visited equals false multiplies n plus one so this is the visited uh, index so if the cities are already visited means we will just mention it as true so initially none of the cities are visited so i'll just uh, have it as false so these are the initialization variable after that we are going to create a dfs uh, uh, function so that is dfs search function so create depth first search function so this function is to find the subset of cities so here in this example you can see right yeah we will be having like two uh, subsets so this is one and this is one so we will find uh, the number of uh, roads possible in the subset so i will just create uh, the dfs function now dfs of i comma graph comma visited so these are the possible uh, parameters now i'm going to have visited of i equals true so i'm just saying this node is visited so it will avoid this kind of cycle now i will have n roads equals one or instead of roads i think uh, we are going to like find the cities so i will say n cities n cities equals one so initially uh the possible number we can have is one that is like one city that is a separate subset so now we are going to iterate for j in graph of i or instead of a good representation we can have u because that is like a popular uh, uh, variable so graph of u and this can be v because many of the uh, pseudo code will follow this kind of uh, variables that's why i'm just changing so this is like a source and this is like a destination like that now we have to check if visited of v equals false 
it means uh, we are just checking that the city is not yet visited if it is not yet visited means we will just add the cities so n cities plus equals dfs of v comma graph comma visited so this is like a recursion so it will just uh, go in deep and uh, find all the number of cities and it will just uh, add this to this variable and finally we will return n cities so this is the dfs function that you commonly uh, see so most of the graph problems will mostly have bfs or uh, dfs so this is dfs now this is the whole function it will just return the number of cities in that uh, particular path now we will go to the main logic just go down here main logic now in the main logic we are going to iterate through the uh, vertices so here for v in range of 1 comma n plus 1 i already uh, told you we are uh, starting from the index 1 because all the cities are uh, numbered from uh, 1 that's why now we are starting from 1 now we are checking if visited of v equals false so if it is not visited means we will call the function so here also we are going to have n cities or we can have yeah n cities is fine n cities equals dfs of v comma graph comma visited so this will just call this function and find all the possible cities so this is the cities so find number of cities in the subset of graph now calculate cost of road and uh, library so here i will say cost 1 equals n cities minus 1 why i'm using minus 1 means uh, let's say if you have uh, three cities means we are going to just uh, construct two roads that is if you have uh, three cities means two roads that is n minus 1 so similarly i'm just having so this is the edges multiplies the cost of road cost of road plus now we are going to just build uh, one library so the cost of library c underscore library cost of roads and uh, one library okay this is cost one now calculate cost of building libraries in all cities now cost 2 equals n cities multiplies cost of library so we already seen this case here in the scenario 2 if you find the cost of uh, building uh, libraries in all the cities means uh, the total cost is like 12 so that's why we are having like two cost now after finding store the minimum cost add the minimum cost to the total to the total so that will be total cost plus equals max of sorry min of cost 1 comma cost 2 and finally we are going to return the total cost so this will just uh, uh, go through the process for all the uh, vertex until uh, it is uh, not visited so we will be covering all the vertices here and uh, this dfs will uh, find the number of uh, uh, subsets of cities so here uh, for this example it will find the subset of cities so we will be having like four cities uh, connected and uh, 
we are going to find the cost of building a road and the library and also the cost of uh, uh, building libraries in all the cities and uh, whichever is minimum we will be just adding to the cost and the same process uh, goes on again and it will find the remaining subset and do the same process so we have just uh, segmented the problem into like uh, three parts so first one we are just uh, creating adjacency list for us to access the uh, cities and the connections so this is like first part of the problem and second uh, is to find the uh, subset of cities that have connections that have possible connections so we have uh, used dfs for this so it will uh, easily uh, avoid the cycles and uh, find the number of possible cities finally we have the main logic we are just finding the number of cities for that particular vertex and uh, calculate the cost of uh, both combination that is uh, building the road and the library and uh, building libraries in all cities whichever is minimum will be just adding to the total cost so this is the overall logic um, we have found and it's pretty uh, simple also if you just uh, segmented a problem into like uh, sub problems it's like a divide and conquer so that's how you can easily solve the graph uh, problems even in the future videos let's run it once to check whether it is uh, working fine or not yes we have passed the sample test case let's submit it yeah we have solved the problem so if you have any other logic other than this please leave a comment below with just a, a pseudo code or some uh, tips it will be very useful for others and that's it guys if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel and i'll see you in the next video